Hi, and thanks again for joining me on another episode of Sealed for Good. Today I'm going to talk about a real simple one, but believe it or not, comes up a lot of times with discussions out there about applying liquid membranes and the best tools and application methods to apply. So look, the first rule is the membrane you're using, the product you're using, refer to the manufacturer's details. It should state it in the data sheet on how best to apply and the recommended tools. However, there are different differences between different liquid membranes in the market on how they are applied. So let's talk about potentially a flat surface, a horizontal surface. A solvent-based membrane versus a, a solvent-free, a water-based membrane could actually be applied differently because of the properties. Many solvent-based membranes, they'll use obviously a roller, but you can also sometimes use a trowel because they've got more of a self-leveling or a flattening property to them. Whereas with the water-based membranes, they tend to have a bit more of a ripple effect when they dry. I know with our systems we always recommend a medium nap roller. That's a nap that's about 10 to 13 mil. You don't want a nap that's sort of 20 mil, 18 to 20 mil. It leaves too thick a film and too much of a texture. And if it's too short, you can't get the film build. So it's important to get that, that middle range there, the Goldilocks, as we call it. And so ensure that you get a medium nap roller. They're, they're a dime a dozen and most applicators are using them. But sometimes when I've seen some of the novelists out there try it, they, or they've used a product from another range, they might use like a foam roller. Foam rollers are no good because they can leave pinholing, but they leave that orange peel effect. And it's very, very difficult to get your film coverage, which is normally around one millimeter dried film at least, on a uh, liquid membrane. Very hard to get that with, that with that sort of foam roller. And that's the advantage of a medium nap. You, with two coats, you should get the, the desired film thickness that you're gonna want, but again, when in doubt, you go back to your manufacturer, ask them or check the data sheet out. That's an important one. If you're using it on a vertical surface with a liquid membrane, again, sometimes, it depends on what the application is and the type of product, you could be able to spray it on. And I'm thinking of situations with underground walls, retaining walls, uh, basement areas, garden beds. If you've got large areas, you can spray. And I've even seen this with podiums where you've got big areas and it's, it's a lot more time saving and more cost effective from that respect with spraying on. If the membrane's got a high build, again, it should have a spray specification. Now, most data sheets, if they don't, you'll see a lot of data sheets don't actually go with the spray specification on the TDS. Doesn't mean they don't have the ability to do that. You may need to ring through or find out from the manufacturer on that data. We've got a spray specification for the various membranes in our range, and they do vary based on the properties of the membrane. So if you need that information, you can call our toll-free toll -free number on 1-800-650-435. But when you're spraying that on, be, be certain that you are following the instructions because they don't work just like paints. As you know, liquid membranes are a lot thicker, they have different properties to them, and that's gonna create a different reaction in both the hose lines, the gun, and the filters. And any of you that have sprayed product before and got into trouble when you're spraying out, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So check that out first, that's an important one. But what do you need to consider when you are going with either a liquid membrane with a roller or spray? Nothing else changes. Surface preparation, priming, the detailers, the detailing, the bond breakers, all need to be applied and done properly first. And with that spray method, that's normally when you're spraying big areas, but you, the detailing you're probably gonna do with a trowel or roller. But check that first, because if you don't understand if you just think, oh, we're going to spray it on, or we can just get a big roller, or we can pour it out and trail it out, and it's going to self-level, you still need to know all the intricate details. And with those trail-on systems, even though a product can be trailed on, you need to understand that sometimes if you get too high a film build, because most membranes, liquid membranes, are designed to go on in two coats. And if you put one thick coat, what happens is, particularly on the substrate that doesn't absorb, you'll find that the bottom doesn't dry at the same level at the top, and you get like a crazy cracking sometimes, like a crazy cracking, and that's really why the moisture is trying to escape the top of the coat because it can't be absorbed in. And sometimes after a week, you can actually go into the, the film thickness and find it's all mush underneath the top layer. So you must ensure that you, there's a reason why you follow the instructions on a data sheet when people say two coats, not just one, because that can impact the way the membrane cures and dries to perform. Final performance of that membrane film is critical to any liquid membrane application. It doesn't matter whether it's bitumen, latex, PU, MS, whatever, the, what is it, whatever is out there that you're using, cementitious, follow the instructions properly. And when you get that piece right, you should find everything else goes nicely from there. If you've got any questions on this, 
particularly on our grip set range. Our tech service is always here to help you. And if you've got anything you want to DM or message us, please do so. Please don't forget to subscribe to this station. Get, get onto it. We've got lots of good um, episodes coming up shortly. And pass on to someone who needs this to understand what we're doing at Gripset to change the industry. I'll see you next time.